All right, in the vein of too much news and not enough gossip, let's go to Gossip Town. Here in our entertainment news stream, we shall be talking about Shakira, Mike Tyson, Megan McCain, this is a long video, Pete Davidson, Kim and Kanye, and Yalna Van Zant's the WWE, Sherry and Wendy Williams, Sherry Shepard and Wendy Williams, Gary Boosie, and Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap is a rapper, so it seems. So I have to look one thing up though first. Do, 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 do. Because Shakira is going through some tax problems where she faces eight years in prison. I just need to know if that is still going on because this has been a month since I heard this story. Um, well, we'll just assume it is. Eight years, mind you, for tax fraud. So what's going to happen with Shakira? Uh, ooh, this flew out. Five of Swords means defeat. Also, win at all costs, so there may be some dishonor on your part. If there is, that means you're guilty, but let's we'll see. You know, allegedly. We don't know nothing, so let's see. Magic cards, that's what I mean, you know. Grainofsalt.com. Hashtag grain of salt. So let's see. Grain of sand, even. Salt can be kind of large sometimes. <laughs> So let's see, Shakira, what is she in for here? Can you tell me? Shakira. So let's see. Temperance. Quid pro quo, maybe a little balance, maybe a um, compromise of some sort. The Nine of Cups. Wishes and desires, but there may be a little bit of greed. There's, there's, okay. Look, at, let's keep going. Let's see. We'll see. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. King of Wands, a dead page of swords, has money attached. I know something. Eight of swords, six of wands, eight of pentacles. Um, I don't see any jail, maybe a working off or paying it off type of thing. Because there is, well, I mean, the jail card is here with the eight of swords. I mean, but, but, let's, let's just say, no, <laughs> for right now, no jail. The Temperance and the Nine of Cups. So there is a coming to an agreement. But the Temperance talks about moderation and the Nine of Cups talks about the opposite. So if this is a hoarding, give me, I want, give me, give me, give me. It's your wishes and desires, but there's a lot of stuff you want and a lot of stuff you're going to get. So she may have had some sort of um, hoarding problem when it came to she didn't want to pay taxes or had a tax scheme or something like that she wanted more and more and more type thing ace of wands and the ten of pentacles there is going to be an action taken against her company i don't know if she has a company but this is a bigger thing than her or like an llc or something that's that's above her too so there may be something with that too or where the money was funneling to so there's something about the greed and then a bigger thing than her. So we'll see what that is. Um, Page of Swords in the Eight of Swords. This would say some jail time, but the prosecutor here with the King of Wands may try to lessen a sentence. So she may get like eight months in jail or something like that, not eight years. So we're talking one to eight months, so maybe four, six, or eight, something like that. Um, two of Pentacles, though, this is not going to end well, though, because it's just not. Um, Word of Solace, though, is the celebrity, Six of Wands, the person at the center of attention. 
So her celebrity may keep her out of gin pop and it may keep her out of having a really, really long sentence, especially since she has no previous record or something like that is, is kind of where this is going. Um, and then the Eight of Pentacles, I see a payoff, like somebody working diligently to do something. So I don't think she's going to go to prison forever, maybe eight months and then a payback program type of thing. So we'll see. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is claiming that Hulu, Hulu, yeah, Hulu, has stolen the rights to his life, his life story. They've ripped him off. So, will he get any recompense? Will he get anything from Hulu? Now, mind you, you don't need his permission to tell his life, apparently. I found this out. Um, like Wendy Williams did to Aaliyah in that disaster of a movie. So, we'll see. Mike Tyson, will you get anything, any sort of just do from Hulu? Some people are calling for the boycott, of course. Yeah, you can't just steal his life. This is coming from other celebrities, and so regular, regular people ain't got a game, ain't got a dog in this fight. So, or a boxer in this fight. So let's see, Mike, Mike, I said Mike Pence. Lord Jesus, if you don't, Mike Tyson, Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. Um, there's, there might be a legal action that is taken, but. It's over before it starts. The fool, yeah, I'm page of swords. It did no, no. I don't even need to pull the rest of these. Ten of swords, ace of wands, no, no. We have a lack of success. Off balance, page of pentacles. At the most, what you can do is use this as an opportunity to find some producers and investors and tell your story yourself. Because when theirs comes out, then, oh, the cachet goes up a little bit. And the name of Mike Tyson is now thrown out there a lot more and so forth and so forth. And so now you can take this opportunity to throw out another series or documentary or whatever. On what it was like being the most prized boxer in the world and the pressure you went under and so forth and so forth. So you're not going to get anything from Hulu, but this is an opportunity to maybe get something from the rest of the world. So... Megan McCain, <laughs> Megan McCain was in an interview with Ren and Stampy, whoever, I don't know, saying that Joy Behar was the reason she really quit. She couldn't take it anymore. It was that one moment on television where Joy Behar said, none of us missed you. Or you wouldn't be missed or you weren't missed or something like that. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. Only when you're comfortable with the lie does truth hurt. I think that the... The clickbait of Meghan McCain wore off, if you ask me. There's not a TV show in the world that is going to get rid of the clickbait, the ratings, for the sake and the health of the show. None of those people liked you. Whoopi tolerated you because she liked your father for whatever reason. But nobody liked you. Nobody likes you, present tense. So... There is there is this thing... Okay, anyway, question is... Why did she quit? Why did she pushed out? Did she say she wasn't coming back because Joy was so toxic? No, you were toxic, and everybody saw that. But let's see. 
She said she didn't come back because of Joy. Joy Behar had every right in the world. No, she really didn't, but I'm going to say it anyway. Had every right in the world to take off her shoe and throw it square in your face. Because it wasn't what just, just the things that you said to her. is the way you said them. And then you got this shrill voice, and it's just, you're just, you was the worst. That one where you told that child, Joy Behar, you're paid, it's your job to listen to me. Do you know how to kick your ass at that table right there and there? You act like you can't get beat up because we on TV, but mm -mm. Somebody better teach Joy Behar about Vaseline and blah, 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 pow, I mean, because anyway, um, the lovers. They're lovers. First card, why did she leave? Ten of swords. The relationships were dead. You weren't, you were, listen, lady. Okay. Maybe instead of, I don't know, I like the name Megan too. I was going to say, maybe instead of calling them Karens, we need to call them Megans. Call them McCain's. <laughs> the justice, balance, and fairness. The high priestess, the hangman. Nobody liked you. I'm sorry. It was not just the people on the show. Nobody liked you. Nobody liked you. Mm -mm. From the front door to the back wall. From the window to the wall. And front door to the back door. From the window to the wall. Nobody liked you. The lovers is your relationships. People you see eye to eye with. And then the ten of swords. Your relationships are dead. The E-A-D in the water. The hangman and the justice gives me the indication, though, that some people were trying to sacrifice for the balance and the sake of the show. But here is the thing that we need to um, tell some truths about here, too, lady. The high priestess, Seven of Pentacles. They talked behind your back from the moment you got there. Somebody kept secrets. They were buried, and they started to come up. And that's what happened. People started to gossip and tell you there was a woman in particular, a queen of cups. This is someone on the support staff type thing. So behind the scenes, uh, the four of swords, you were also iced out as well, because that's the word of warning. Your word of solace is the eight of wands. Somebody eventually told you. And then the seven of cups, you were left with options and none of them were good. They didn't want you there. They tolerated you because you were clickbait. Oh, here's the thing Megan McCain said today. Okay. Meanwhile, I can turn on my garbage disposal and listen to the noise and have a more pleasant conversation. Okay. I'm just saying. Pete Davidson. Now, this is the young man who was dating Kim Kardashian. They have now broken up, and he is now going to trauma counseling. Not, <laughs> not because of her, but because of Kanye. Apparently, Kanye has caused him great pain with the threats of violence and things of that nature. But he was also trolling that man, too. So, is, is Pete Davidson really traumatized? If so, by what? If no, why did he say it? Let's see. There's y'all friends. What you mean? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Let's see. Pete Davidson, are you traumatized? Knight of Cups. That's the false knight. For he does nothing but talk. No action whatsoever. And the sun. There's, this is a show. If you don't get some words out, this is a show. King of Cups and the Devil. No. King of Cups would be a doctor for me. Any kind of doctor. And the Devil. No. He is not traumatized. Three of Wands, Four of Wands. He's planning to do something else. Um, 
um, something around embarrassment and celebrity. So that's pretty much what this is, just embarrassment, but no. He's leveled, justice. Cause and effect, too. This is more of a, I'm embarrassed, not I'm traumatized. So maybe he's gaining sympathy or trying to. So will Kim and Kanye get back together? Lord Jesus. Too much news, not enough gossip, but this is just... I can't. <laughs> will they get back together? Toxic is as toxic dates. So let's see. Will they get back together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those two, both of them need help. Um, the Five of Pentacles and the Judgment. Right now, somebody is at least on Front Street talking about, no, I'm over it, probably Kim. I'm moving on. Five of Pentacles thrown out in the cold. Judgment, trying to use your better judgment. Maybe even making an announcement of some sort on some sort of talk show that no we're moved on we're trying to get in a healthy space to co-parent and da 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 but and then there's the page of pentacles the emperor the queen of swords and the knight of pentacles there is some sort of special in the work there's a woman queen of swords very shrill very or shrewd i should say very business minded she has plans, so either the mother, Chris Jenner, and then the Page of Pentacles, trying to secure some sort of deal, some sort of financial document. Um, it's falling by the wayside, though, so she's still after it. So maybe they had a, a reality show plan with Kim and Pete, and that didn't work, and so maybe she's trying to now revamp it to a Kim and Kanye part two or down the road type thing. But the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, yeah. She's, somebody's trying to get a special with Kim and Kanye. Seven of Swords or something sneaky in the word of warning. There's no love here. This is something sneaky. Nine of Pentacles. This is a money thing. Two of Swords, but it's not decided yet. Now, here's the only reason why this would end in that two, well, not the only reason, but one of the reasons I can see it would end in the Two of Swords, which is not decided yet, is because you are having a situation where we think, not us, but we think, oh my God, it's so nice Kim and Kanye are getting back together. Meanwhile, behind the scenes... This is all for ETV or E News or whoever. This is all for some reality show type of thing. The house house husbands of Kim Kardashian type of thing. So there's something else financially speaking behind this. Knight of Pentacles is the is the hiring. The Page of Pentacles is the contract. The Nine of Pentacles is a lot of money. So there was going to be something with Kim and Pete, and that's fallen apart. And now someone is trying to revamp the Emperor Kanye with Kim so it looks like love to the outside and it's really not so that's why you get to a source where they haven't really decided on the future of their relationship and I will say this Kanye may not be any the wiser he may think he's getting his family back or some garbage like that but no Okay, well, let's, you know what, let me ask that. Long video anyway, let me just, let's just go into that. How does Kim really feel about Kanye? And then I'll ask, how does he feel about her? Because maybe he was just drawn to the lifestyle and not necessarily her. So let's see. What does Kim feel about Kanye? Is she in love? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, we'll stop it. So, let's see. The Six of Wands, Celebrity, Center of Attention. The Page of Swords. 
She doesn't like the attention he is giving, especially right now. The Will of Fortune, Three of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Fortunes at the top and the bottom, at the root and the head. Six of Pentacles and money over time, or fortunes or good lucks. And then in the present and future, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is your heartbreak, your separation, your pain, your backstabbing, betrayal. She don't love him. She likes the attention. It started with attention, Six of Wands. It's a bit like Trump, isn't it? To where you beg for attention, the universe gives it to you, and then you don't like it because of the type of attention that you've got. Okay. A Jan LaVanza. Oh, no, I was going to do Kanye. Kanye and Kim. How does Kanye feel about Kim? One, two, four, five, six. Okay. The Nine of Swords and the Emperor. You know what? I, somebody come get y'all cousin. Oh my Jesus. Like he's 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 Kanye, yes. <clears throat> But this is very self-centered. There's anxiety and angst and worry, stress and strain, hormone imbalance in the emperor. The emperor is him. That's how he presents. It's okay. I'm gonna keep going. It's about him. High priestess, the hangman. Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. <sighs> he wants what he wants. I don't think... There's no love here. Um, I think there once was, though, on his side. Why do I say that? Because the Seven of Wands is the attempt to elevate. Getting to the higher ground. New relationships. So I think he wants to start over and get it to the place where it used to be. But he is having some mental issues within himself. And they are preventing a lot. The high priestess and the hangman's mean that he cannot see behind the veil. This is enlightenment. This is secrecy. But not secrets because you can't know them. Secrets because you don't ask the right question. So it's not that he can't know what's behind the veil. He doesn't know how to shift his brain to get into that situation where he's asking the question, hey, what is the root cause? That's a, that's a hard question to answer for a whole lot of people, not just him. The root cause of something, that's what therapy is for. Why do I behave this way? Let's find the root cause. Anyway, <clears throat> the WWE and its chairman former chairman, pardon me, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. He has stepped down because of hush money allegations. Now, <clears throat> I did a reading on him already, and I said we were at uh, 12 women. I was like, no, actually, I made a error. There were four women, $12 million. Well, there's been <laughs> somebody in the comments said, oh, I'm sure there's more. And yes, there were more, and now we are now up to $20 million. Five of those million dollars apparently were given to Donald Trump, which I'll ask about that at a later date. But WWE has lost its chairman because he stepped down in the midst of all his hush money allegations, and another guy he hired stepped down too because they were involved with the same woman. Anyway, so... He stepped down, and a former wrestler who is now married to his daughter named Hunter Hearst Helmsley, his real name was Paul Levesque, but 
His gimmick name is HHH or Triple H, as they call him. People love him because he's a former wrestler and, you know, he was, he was admired. So it would be like, for people who know at least Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, it would be like him running the company. People like him. So people like Triple H. And not just that, but the wrestlers like him too. Because he listens to them and he gives them a shot and the whole bit. And so will the WWE do better under Triple H? Now, the stock prices kind of took a hit. <laughs> When Vince went away, because he is a big deal, like it, love it, hate it, or leave it. But let's see. Will it be better? Will it be received better under Triple H? And Vince McMahon has known Donald Trump for years, like 30 plus years. He paid $5 million, apparently, they say. He paid $5 million to Donald Trump through Donald Trump's charity that he had at the time. So we'll ask about that later. The Knight of Swords and the Star. Will it do better under Triple H? Yes. The Knight of Swords um, is combat as well for me. Of course, the person is the chivalry, the bravery, so that, and then the star. These are the actual stars, so maybe these two together would mean wrestler. Um, which is another thing, too. Like, little bitty things are already starting to pop up that people like. Like, Vince McMahon would never, he didn't like to call his wrestlers wrestlers. Even though they worked for the World Wrestling Entertainment or Federation at the time. He liked to call them superstars. And so now the word wrestler has come back, which is interesting. Um, there's going to be some resignations and some separations, some, some backbiting, some backstabbing, some betrayal. Three of Swords is in your word of warning. So there's a lot of people there that were only there because of Vince McMahon. Now that Vince McMahon has left, they feel kind of betrayed because they're starting to leave and break off. And some of them are wrestlers. Like, if Vince is not here, I'm not here, type of thing. But you get the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Swords, so there's going to be a lot of talk. It's going to cause some sleepless nights around anxiety and separation and people leaving, people breaking off. Um, seven of Swords, Three of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. This is going to take another seven months or so for it to sort of even out and iron out. Um, but the plans are already in motion to do so. The Ace of Pentacles is in your word of solace. So the opportunity to get better will be there and it will be well received. The King of Wands, the leader. So there's your Triple H. Um, yes, it will get better under him. It will be well received under him. Let me say it that way. It's just, it's the, it's going to be a lot of internal drama though. A lot. Sherry Shepard has a TV show now where Wendy Williams show used to be. Rumor has it that Wendy Williams is telling all of her celebrity friends to boycott the Sherry Shepard show because she feels like she has been done in by Wendy Williams. I mean, the other way around. She has been done in by Sherry Shepard. Not your own behavior that Sherry Shepard somehow, you know, got her come up off your back type thing. So, what is going to happen in this situation? Is it going to get worse? Is Wendy going to start throwing stones? Is she really going to try to sabotage um, Sherry's show? Is it going to affect Sherry at all? I mean, it's good publicity for Sherry, but she's telling, Wendy is telling, and who are your celebrity friends? You were nasty to everybody. Girl, bye. Nene Leakes don't even like you. No more. <laughs> so, Wendy, William, Sherry, Shepard. What's going to happen there? Is it going to get worse or what?
Just, I mean, go away with some grace and dignity. What can you expect from a woman who eats out the trash? She said that herself, mind you. She eats out the trash. The Hermit and the Four of Cups. Okay, let's keep going. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Um, mind you, right now, this is just rumored because Whitney, I don't think, has said anything, but it's coming. Word of warning is judgment. Somebody's going to have a lapse of judgment and make some sort of announcement. This is going to, she doesn't use social media, but you're going to hear about it. Um, the Hermit and the Four of Cups. There is some sort of investigation that is going to be done. There is going to be something that is handed as well. There's going to be some backstabbing with the Three of Swords, so I believe this to be true. And for whatever reason, there may be a guest that is already canceled. I know um, Nick Cannon said that he's not supporting the, the Sherry Shepard show, but not because of Wendy Williams, but because of something else. I forget what it is. Oh, it's the company. The company that is is producing the Sherry Shepard show produced Nick Cannon's show. And they canceled Nick Cannon, and he does not like them, and so he's not supporting Sherry Shepard's show. So there's there's that, too. But I believe this to be true, and yes... Somebody's going to say something. There's something sneaky going on behind the scenes. There's also the attempt to remove somebody or something, too. So they may be trying to siphon off staff because I think Wendy's going to start a podcast. And so we'll see. Fetty Wap. Let's do him now since I wrote him on the list. He is a rapper who has been charged... He just needs, I believe, sentencing is all that's left. Because he's pled guilty. Let's get the story. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rappy Freddy Wap. Rapper Freddy Wap. Freddy or Fetty. Fetty Wap. <laughs> has pleaded guilty in federal court to conspiracy to possess and distribute. Let's stop right there. He's a rapper. He's got a name out there. I don't know who he is because I don't. I don't know nothing about these cheering. Where's the LL Cool J? That was my generation. Fetty Wap. He's got a name. Apparently. Pled guilty. In federal court. To conspiracy to possess and distribute. Five hundred grams or more. Of cocaine. Do you really need to sell cocaine? There are places in this in this country where you can go sell marijuana. It's a rapper thing, you know, they all try to make it part of their culture, it's the cool thing to do, blah blah blah. Never mind the medicinal properties, it's just a Snoop Dogg type of thing to do. And it's legal. You can go get your own strain. Everybody's got one. Cocaine is a different type of thing. Because this takes a mentality that cares zero for human life. You as a black man know what it has done to the black community. When it was put there in the first place. We don't. We didn't grow cocaine. We, that was put into the black community. This was an assault, just like fentanyl is for the white community. This was an assault upon black people, and here you are distributing cocaine. Why? It cannot be for money. You you got some already. This is a person who has abs absolutely no regard for human life, not even your own. Now, mind you, 
this, he's because this is a bigger thing, of course, because he it's not like he went and found cocaine somewhere. This was this was part of a group where they were distributing fentanyl, cocaine, and one other thing. So just kill everybody. The destabilization of American society. The illegal cocaine and the legal cocaine. Fentanyl is just as harmful. So what's going to happen here? He's, all, he's I mean, he's already pled guilty, so he's just waiting for sentencing. But, you know, what? let's miss never mind what's going to happen. Why? I want to know why. Why did he want to sell? And I'm pretty sure he's not new to the game. He didn't just start selling cocaine two summers ago. This has been a thing probably in his life. Why? Why did he sell cocaine? Just young and stupid. Just greedy. Combination. It was the Queen of Swords. Page of Wands. Or is it Vice? Advice was given. The Moon. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. A new person you met told you how fantastic this is. He painted a picture of lifestyles of the rich and famous. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, King of Cups, and the Sun. So here's here's the picture that's playing in my psychics. <laughs> Someone comes up to him, Ace of Cups. New person. Not someone you've known forever. Someone you've met at a gathering, a party, or whatever. He gives you advice. This advice is rooted in treachery, though. Because the moon, he didn't tell you everything, just told you the pretty parts. The Queen of Swords is a person who's lived a long time or has been around the block a while. Um, or a long time, because she knows a lot of things. But she's not always old, she's just a person who's been through a lot. And so this person has experienced a lot and told it to you. Page of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor and the Ten of Wands told you about an opportunity. To conquer told you that gave it to you like this you know we move a lot of stuff he gave it code words he didn't say cocaine we do move a lot of stuff like powder or something maybe they do some little cute word we move a lot of stuff and you can get in on this and I'm talking you can get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in two weeks and so he made it sound like oh my goodness this is the greatest opportunity never not when I talk about timeshares and investments cocaine that you can move a lot of stuff and you can get a lot of money and then there's these neighborhoods and these communities and you can get this and you can get that and shiny things shiny things loud noises mind you there is one pentacle in this reading it's the ace of pentacle that's not a lot of money that's the opportunity to make money because it's the offer. You don't have to take it. I always say there's a difference between an offer in the tarot and possession. This is possession. When the hand is gripping the thing, that's possession. When the hand is open, that's an offer. Difference is possession means that's yours, period. You're in control of that. That emits from you. That's your idea. That's your victory and your thoughts. Your Ace of Cups is the hand is open. Your Ace of Pentacles, the hand is open. Offer of a new relationship, offer of a new opportunity. Both of those are here. They didn't have to take none of this. This was not forced upon him. They made it look nice, nice and shiny. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I don't even know you, but... Oh, and look at the devil on the bottom. Ain't that lovely? 
What a schmuck. Gary Busey, or Busey, however you say it. I think it's Busey. <laughs> Gary Busey is being charged with... Um, it's not sexual harassment nor sexual assault. They called it a different thing. And it threw me off a little bit there. But... Um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I got the story. Pause for the calls. Oh, was that him with that weird face? Yes, it was. Actor Gary Busey has been charged with sexual offenses. That's what they called it. At a New Jersey uh, fan convention this month, he is 78 years old, charged, according to the AP, charged with two counts of fourth-degree criminal sexual contact, one count of attempted criminal sexual contact, and one count of harassment, according to the Cherry Hill Police Department. The charges stem from offenses at an annual Monster Mania convention at the Doubletree Hotel that took place August the 12th through the 14th. Um, so what the details were of that article were there was one woman, or no, one, several women actually, that say, I think it was two, I think there's four altogether is two that said he grabbed her behind and there's one lady who said that he leaned in close to her breast and said where did you get those from or where did you buy those from or something stupid like that now these are all allegations mind you none of this has been proven yet he said he has tons of people who can testify that he did not do any of these things and then there's these women who said he did and he said um, also in these kind of spaces it's very easy to touch a person because there's a bunch of us around each other so what is going to come out of this are they going to find that he indeed was guilty of sexual offenses or are these women angling for something else some sort of lying because it's not blackmail at this point because they they've already told everybody so. <laughs> So let me see. Are they going to find him guilty of sexual offenses or are these women lying? I see. Because it's not, it's not the first time that people are trying to F up the Me Too movement. They did it to Neil deGrasse Tyson. They did it to Nellie, speaking of rappers, to where the little girl got on the tour bus. She said she was raped. What happened was they went there. She gave it up to him, and then he discarded her because she was a groupie. Yeah, that's the way they saw it. And then she got mad and said, you know, she cried foul. But there you go. So are they lying? Well... Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. Four of Swords is retreat, and the Page of Swords is a lie. Page of Swords is that negative news, that gossip. The Temperance and the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Cups. There's a scheme cooking. There's the Devil. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Is he guilty? One card. Cause here's my here's my here's my problem right now. He was not he was not a Boy Scout. First of all, I just don't think everything that is being told is the way it happened. So your side, my side, and the truth is somewhere in between type of deal. But I wouldn't go nowhere around him nor invite him to nothing else, though. Because you start with the lie, Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. Someone is sort of waiting in the wings with more gossip and more stories. I don't know if someone's trying to do him in from the outside or something like that. 
But the seven of because there's seven of swords is here. There's a scheme that is being cooked up by a group of people. Something something horrible is being cooked up by a group of people, and the devil. Now here's the thing too. Not a group of people that are on the women's side. There's rumor that he also has contacted the police and told them to try to persuade the people not to pursue any charges. Rumors. Hearsay from, from a police officer. So there's some sort of group here and a scheme that is being cooked up. This, mind you, I'm not saying the police went through with it because again, this has all come out. So if they were gonna go through with it, nobody would have found out. But there's a, there's a group that, is, that someone is trying to scheme something up with and there's a lie in between. Um, the Temperance and the Four of Cups, I'm gonna say, this is just my own psychic interpretation. I'm going to say he did it, and he's absolutely guilty. But I don't think he was, and it doesn't matter, mind you, but I don't think he was He was trying to harm. I think he may have been in a frame of mind where his behavior was not monitored by... A better frame of mind. <laughs> but I think there's a scheme on his part to try to cover something up with that big group and that Seven of Swords and that devil trying to get away with some sort of illegality. And mind you, the Seven of Swords is illegal all on its own, as we have talked about. And the devil makes it worse. The devil is evil intent. So I guess I have to take back what... <laughs> I don't know. I just I, I'm trying not to be so judgy because there are no real facts in this case right now. But I think he did it, and I think he's trying to cover it up. There you go. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Devil, Scarlet Letter A just paints. I just I, anyway. So that was our too much news. Not enough gossip. I shall see y'all next time.